Biomedical engineering is an area of engineering you mightn't have heard too much about, but it is one of the largest industries in Ireland, employing thousands of people across the country. Biomedical engineers design, develop and manufacture healthcare devices for the purpose of diagnosing and treating patients. We're in Galway today to meet with Andrew Hickey and Neve Hanney from Boston Scientific, one of the largest and most widely respected biomedical engineering companies in the world. Hey, how are you? Andrew. Lovely to meet you, Andrew. Mara is my name. Nice to meet you, Mara. We're going to have a look around? Yeah, yeah come on. We'll show you around. So, guys, how long has Boston Scientific been here in Galway? So, the Boston Scientific, the Galway facility, started back here in 1994. Mm -hmm. So, currently on site, we have approximately 2,500 employees. So, the employees are ranging from process development engineers, research and development, quality engineers, and the guys actually working down in the manufacturing area. So, a big, big, diverse workforce. Great. Talk us through exactly what biomedical engineering is. Biomedical engineering is essentially the mechanics of the body and understanding how the body works, understanding the problems that can go wrong. So just like your car or anything else, how can you fix it? I'm um, supposed to gather an understanding of anatomy, physiology, tissue engineering, and then using your engineering background in drawing, electronics, um, ther fluid dynamics, thermodynamics, and using all that to build medical devices which will essentially save and improve lives. How do you go from being in secondary school to working as a biomedical engineer in one of the top healthcare companies in the world? I always thought I would like to be a physiotherapist. Um, so all through school I had an idea that I'd be a physio and come close to the CEO time um, I began to realise that physio wasn't all about going to the Olympics and <laughs> going off to the Rugby World Cup. So I um, started to research biomedical engineering and I suppose physio kind of led me into prosthetic limbs and the whole area around there. And at the time NUIG had a new, relatively new course on biomedical engineering which was advertised in the CEO papers. So um, that's where I got it from. Our guidance counsellor teacher, um, you know, we used to have meetings every week. And I went in and had a meeting with her and she just started explaining to me like that there is engineering jobs out there uh, currently in a medical device company. And um, she basically said like there's loads of opportunities out there. It's a job like, the, you know, you're going to be working with a, a massive diverse workforce. Um, you're going to be meeting loads of different people every day. And to be honest, that's the kind of person I am. I love meeting different people every day. And I think maybe you're the same as well. Um, so she kind of she kind of swayed me in the direction of changing my career. So I actually changed my CEO form. I had primary teaching down first, so I changed it to uh, an engineering course, number one. Um, and that's kind of what led me down the route into the engineering background. Talk me through what your average day is like from the time you arrive here till the time you leave in the evening. So here in uh, Boston Scientific in Galway itself, we make a wide range of different products that you know, help patients with all, a range of different um, conditions. So I suppose one example, the product that myself and Neve are actually currently working on is the Promus Element product. So what it is, it's a drug eluding stint. So it's to do with coronary artery disease. So if you have blocked or narrowed arteries, this is actually um, a product that you introduce into your heart. You unblock the area where the plaque is developed and there's a little metal stint that's left inside in the heart. Um, and then there's a drug on the stint that it, it, it elutes over time. So it reduces build up of plaque again. So that's, that's one of the products that we, we manufacture here in Galway. They're actually really interesting because they're so small and to look at sometimes you wouldn't think that there is so much science behind them. But they're, every little strut and every little bit of drug, the amount of science that goes in behind them and the amount of control and the amount of precision that's applied to each is it's really impressive. Exactly. And the manufacturing of each component itself, it's, you know, each, each manufacturing process is complex. To, to manufacture each component like so it is yeah. it's a high-tech high-tech industry like really so would you actually get to go into theater then and see the operation happening often actually Boston Scientific and most medical device industries really encourage their employees to go to hospitals and become involved so we often would go into surgeries and have a look at how the equipment is used and doctors are very anxious to kind of go through to how they're using it and the ideas they have and really it brings to life the medical device so it's not just engineers working with other engineers then and biomedical engineers would also interact with the physicians and the customer and essentially it is the voice of the customer that does drive what we do here as biomedical engineers so the interaction there is very important. 
The area that we're in now is a test lab, is that what you said? Exactly, so if you just, just have a look in here, it's so currently I'm working in the research and development department. Yeah. So that's where we come up with generate the idea, we start to develop that idea into an actual finished product. Mm -hmm. We would actually bring units that we manufacture down here in the development here. stage into this test lab. Right. Yeah. So within this lab then we would test the units, so to different, in different situations, different scenarios that would be relevant to the clinical environment. Right. So once all those units actually meet the requirements and when we're sure that they're f to a high standard of quality, that they meet the clinical requirements, mm -hmm. then we would transfer that idea over to the manufacturing area where Neve works. So the manufacturing area is all about making the product that Andrew's team has developed and tested in a top class environment. So because it's medical devices, the importance of precision and quality sure. is very important. So actually sometimes the genius behind the product is actually in the way we manufacture it. And we actually have some really cool technology to do that. And if something doesn't pass the process, if these guys in here go, no, not, not okay, not good enough, what's the next step then? First of all, you'd actually kind of define what the problem is, right. exactly what is the issue. So you'd kind of have a brainstorming session, and again, like we'd work with Neve's department, we'd work with mm -hmm. process yeah. development, so it's a kind of a, a cross-functional team effort mm. to, this, to figure out actually what is the problem and where it could have happened. It's sometimes amazing where you do find the answer, and I suppose mm. it is that important, the, the link then becomes all that more important between the departments, that you haven't missed something and it's very thorough. There has to be quite a rewarding aspect to your job. I mean, ultimately, you are helping to save people's lives. They often have actual patient days where they actually bring, in a, bring back a patient here on site to actually talk to us about how the products we make have actually changed their lives and actually helped their lives. And I suppose it's really rewarding yeah. when you hear them coming back in and, and thanking you for actually working on these yeah. products. And sometimes and you think you're just an engineer, exactly. that you're not the doctor. Yeah. And it's so surprising that they would think to come back to the company and thank, you, thank it is, the company. It is really it. rewarding. There's a stat statistic out there that uh, there's a life saved or improved yeah. every 10 seconds yeah. through the medical device. So this is where we gown up before we go into the clean room. Right. So the clean room is where we make our product in a controlled environment. So temperature, humidity, micro and particulate levels are very much at a controlled level. So we have to gown up and be very clean, I suppose, before we go in. Yeah. So in here we have a gowning sequence okay. and we use that to gown up. So say for students who are watching this and, and they're wondering, are there specific subjects that you need to have? What would you advise? Is maths important? Is it crucial to have biology? Maths is always crucial and people think that they might be bad at maths but you do maths in every, every aspect of life, you're good at, you do maths, parking your car, going to the shop, it's all maths so nobody is bad at maths but as I said even if you are more into um, biology rather than maths there is different routes in engineering to account for that. I kind of went for more the, the business side of things so I would have yeah. done like say business organisation um, I would have done, say, accountancy as well. So I kind of opted. I didn't actually just do all engineering-based subjects. Like I think the CEO, it's a kind of a, like it's a, it's a really pressure. Yeah, pressure. it's a black it's art. A <laughs> it is. It's a pressure time. Like for a student when they don't know exactly, you know, what they want to do with their future. Like my advice would be, don't actually don't rush into just jotting down anything on your CV. Mm -hmm. Make sure like to talk to your career guidance teacher. Even talk to like friends at home, like or even family that have gone off and maybe some of them have done engineering, ask them what it's like and what they think of and ask them what their experiences are. Nine out of ten times people have gone a crazy route to what they're doing. I mean even and even if you do biomedical engineering there is so many other routes after it. A lot of my friends while employed in biomedical in industry, some of them are now working as maths teachers, um, a friend of mine has gone on to do medicine, um, some of them are still in, are working in research labs. So no route defines you. you can't, there's always another option and there's another way around. So don't get too stressed that making this key decision now is going to decide your life. So what was it like studying engineering in college? Engineering, like there's no doubt about it, it is actually, it is a tough course. Um, you, you do have long hours, you have, you know, labs that you have to attend every day, you have your tutorials, then you have your lectures as well. And in the background as well, you have actually projects you have to work on. So it is, it is in a fairly intense course. But again, like, there's always, you know, you're there with, you're there with your best buddies inside in the course. So if you don't know something, you're guaranteed that one of the other lads in the class, one of the other girls in the class, they will have a better grasp on it. College environment itself, like I don't think anyone will disagree with this. It is, it is a great time. Yeah. It's an absolute brilliant time. You meet so many good friends from all over the country and even across the world. Like. You've mentioned a lot of the perks and, and the positives of your work. Every job has challenges. What would you consider to be your challenges here in Boston Scientific? 
there's always a big challenge when launching a new product or when developing one. There's always a pressure there that the product is so precise and that you're so happy with it. You know, there's always a challenge when you're signing off on something. There's always that worry that something goes wrong. But that just means, you know, you, you know, suppose we put in the hours, we make sure we're happy with it, everything's okay, mm. and that you've consulted with everybody that needs exactly. to be consulted with. When I came out of college first, like, and I, I think probably every student is the same, it is kind of daunting. And you're coming in here to this big massive manufacturing site, you're coming from the green fields of actual the university life to straight into the workforce. Yeah. And it is daunting. And I remember for the first maybe two to three months, I actually didn't know whether, what, to, what to think. Like, I didn't really didn't have my feet on the ground at the time. And, uh, but I suppose like, when you're meeting with people inside here, you're working off experienced people. And gradually, like, over time, like, within six months, like, I, I, I was really into it. Like, I was actually really enjoying it. Um, and I'm here four and a half years now. And now we're ready for the at work. <laughs> we go. I hope you've enjoyed finding out about biomedical engineering. Remember, it's not just doctors and nurses who save lives, but also the biomedical engineers who help create these life-saving devices.